Hey everybody! So, today, thanks to Bringus, basically, um, he made a video, that one, and as soon as I saw the thumbnail, I was like, oh my god, I forgot about those computers. So I started watching and I was like, I have to buy one. So, yeah, I bought one. Um, let's just jump into it. I'm just going to take it apart. Uh, next few videos, though, will be more interesting. So, if Teardown's not up your alley, come back. I'll have more. All right. So, as you can see, the XI3 in beautiful orange. And there's nothing else on the back and top. So, or top and bottom. Anyways, so we have an Ethernet port, a dual... DisplayPort slash HDMI, which is awesome. It works with HDMI quite easily. It's just, it's a little finicky. If you can see in the port, there is a tiny pin right there that you have to get the HDMI to uh, go on. It guides it, basically. I haven't tested the too many DisplayPorts, and then we have audio in, audio out, SPDIF, USB 3, um, E, SATA, and USB, and then uh, four more just USB 2s. Uh, Ethernet. Oh, the barrel jack is really kind of interesting because as you can see, it says 12 to 24 volt. So you can pretty much run this on any uh, Nook power supply that's out there. I tried my Nook box uh, from uh, GMK Tech, and the 12 volt power supply that it came with works perfectly fine. Um, yeah. So, the one thing I dislike is it doesn't have any feet, so I might have to put a little rubber feet on it because that is just so much. And I have a glass uh, ta uh, table at home, so yeah. Anyways. Let me go ahead and open this up and we'll check out the insides. All right, so here's the back panel, which is quite nice. It holds the boards together so they can't wiggle around. So let's check out the boards individually. So the board with all the video connectors and the power, we've got two connectors down there and on the back we have a SSD slot which is MSATA or um, mini PCIe I do believe is what they're also called but in this I do believe it's just MSATA not mini PCIe all right the next board we have another uh, mini PCI Express style slot as you can see, we have a H, uh, Samsung SSD. Uh, it's a 256. And then on this side, we have our battery and our Southbridge uh, chipset right here, which is no idea. Way too, way too small for me to read. And I doubt I can get it. Nope. Okay. Anyways. Also, it has a micro SD card slot internally. So you can always just throw a uh, like tiny Linux or something on it when you're needing to diagnose a problem or something. Or just, I guess, any linux distro that loads into ram but yeah eh. and finally we have the cpu board uh, so on the bottom of the cpu board we have eight gigs of ram um do believe that's oh no it's mirrored so we got four gigs there and four gigs on the other side and then, as you can see, we have a beefy heat sink um, because this is a 
gigahertz uh, boost uh, um, Trinity core. Um, I do believe this has an FS1 socket. They're not like a BGA or anything. So I am going to try and see if I can find a processor or two and throw in this thing because if there's a way to run, you know, slightly better graphics card, this actually might not be a bad little Steam box. Uh, oh, mentioning Steam box, I'm going to find the original Steam OS and try to throw on it. Um, can we get everything off to show the processor? I don't think I have that heck. Uh, torques with me. I do not. So no, that'll have to be another video. So stay tuned for uh, taking the heat sink off and swapping out processors. So, come back um, for the CPU swap videos. I'm going to try and remember to do some like gaming comparisons and stuff, but I really don't think they're going to do too well on either of the CPUs. Um, I looked up the Passmark CPU score, and it was only like 1700. So that's not the greatest, but the GPUs actually might not be that horrible. So we'll find out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Come back to the channel, subscribe, dislike, all that fun stuff.